All right, so my friends, welcome. Uh, we're, we're live again. I'm, I'm a little scared. Um, don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're, we're trying to be live again. So uh, we have Twitch Chat hanging out. Hi, Twitch Chat. How are you? Ten new brews. Uh, we're now uh, past the halfway point. This is brew number five, uh, six of ten. And new set, Dominar United on Pump Force. It's such really, really important for me. Having a great time. The brews have been awesome so far. Anything you miss on YouTube, go watch it. Um, it's just been really, really awesome. So we're having a lot of fun. So our next deck is a Cleric deck. Uh, before we start, though, I want to remind you all, of course, full set review is already up on YouTube. Go watch that. Bronze Mythic will be starting on Friday on the new channel. And we got a Pile Driver pre-release. That's right. What is this? It's a... <laughs> It's Garn. Uh, Powder pre-release, of course. We do this every new set. Uh, it's going to be on Saturday. It's a free-to-play pre-release. It's just four rounds, free-to-play, uh, on Arena. And it's in the Discord with prizes. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, make sure you sign up for that from the Discord. Powder Draft pre-release. I want to see you there. All right, be there. Be equal on all sides. So, our sixth deck is a Cleric deck. Of course, based around Shadow Rite Priest, which is the new uh, the new Cleric Lord from Dominar United. It's a 2 2 4 2 it's a lord for clerics. But the crazy part here is that you can just tap five mana and sacrifice a different cleric and just search your library for a black creature card and put it onto the battlefield. Full stop. Hey. Full stop. That's it. So any black creature, so the best creatures in the format that, um, that are targets for this are Tox Roll of Corrosive is the biggest one, of course. Um, Lisa's also good, but also castable. And then one Henrika. So three, uh, three legends here as possible targets, Tox Roll being the largest of them. And then we're just playing sort of like a, a cleric-y, life candy deck. So we have uh, Voice of the Blessed here uh, as the only remaining uh, growing creature in the format. Uh, you know, usual life gain triggers and so on and so forth. We have uh, Traveling Minister and Luminarch Veteran to gain some life and do some stuff for that. Uh, we got a few new cards here in Sadistic Pilgrim, which is just a really good 2-2 death-touching uh, Soul Warden, which is great. Phyrexian Missionary. This card's just good. 2 mana for a 2-3 lifelink, which is already like a pretty good body. It's a human and a cleric. And if you kick kick it for two, you can raise dead, which is just this card is good. It's just a good card, I think. So missionary is great. We have peacekeeper here trying this one out, and a three three that can tax your opponent's spells. Purifier maybe draw some draw some draw some cards. We get Jaren the bishop to do a little uh, go wide stuff, and then a couple wandering emperors as a card, which is very very good. So removal spells are infernal grasp, cut down, and wandering emperor, and. Uh, we got two Fiends Tower in here for a little blue mana, just in case Toxra wants to go off. So that is the deck. This is the brew. We're playing three games, the best of one. Just kind of a quick sample to see uh, what the deck can do. Don't forget, on Friday, my article on CoolStuffInc.com will have all the deck lists with all my thoughts on each. As always, CoolStuffInc.com. This Friday, my Friday article. Check that out. So remember, we're brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Let's get to the game. See how it goes. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. We got Resub, Zonophone, Soapy, Flam, and Monolith. Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. We got Veteran, Voice of the Blessed, Pilgrim. It's pretty good. We like this. It's a pretty good card here, the Sadistic Pilgrim. 2-2 two, two Cleric, Death Touch, Soul Warden, and a little Life Drain, too. Delver of Secrets. Oh, boy. We Delvin? Is that where we're at right now? All right, so Veteran it is. Now we have Shadow Rite Priest, too. We got a Blind Flipper now. Chat coming out with me. The stream's actually working, so you can all hang out with me right now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Leggings are sub now too. Thanks so much. So Delver doesn't flip. And then Lettuce. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? No, it's Axe. Not offering the veteran for the uh, thing. So uh, we're just going to go land voice, I guess. They could have like a counter spell or something here. But like we could go Pilgrim first to try and gain another life. But I think it's just, just guess voice here. Guess voice is the blast. Pay one. Gain one. They had a counter spell here. We will make spear. No. Nope. Try and gain a thing. It's gonna die. Right, yeah, sure. So pretty hard to save a uh, voice through lightning strike anyway. So that's okay. And then we're gonna just say go. Delver secrets. No flips. Love it. Island. 
Sophie! It's another Mod Monday. That's pretty good. Alright, no blocks. What's up, Henry? Panama City, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Alright, we're just gonna play uh, Elias here. Gain a life and say go. Delver again. Nope. Yeah, Delver not so good. Delver not so good. Nothing's really changed. Uh, Delver's still not so good. Ancestral Anger on the Goblin token. Storm Prior Coast, a consider. If you want to see Delver not flip, go watch uh, me on the uh, the Prof's show, Shuffle Up and Blight. That was a lot of fun. And now they're going to fire with the Monarch, and do I trade with the Squee? I kind of like have to, right? They'll, they'll play it again, but I guess I could just uh, Wandering Emperor of a Squee. Maybe we'll just do that. So... No blocks. And Ledger Shredder? Jeez, they're really going wide here. Alright, I mean, we're just gonna, gonna Emperor and kill the Skull Squee. Oh, I should have blocked the 1 1, you're right. I I just, like, was talking and didn't. This was a 2 1, and I was just like, oh, it's 2 1, I can't block it. But you're right, I should have blocked the 1, I screwed up. Made a mistake. What's up, Eisenberg? How's it going, my friend? This is what you get for Let's go. They can kill my my Emperor, but I have another one, which is fine. They finally flipped the Delver. I think we're dead here. Now they flipped Delver. They have Anger and Shredder. They can shred. Yeah. Anger on the Delver. Shadow right pre. I mean, like, if the Priest can live... And we can go get Toxroll. That would be really cool. But definitely no promises there. For this? Love it. Talarian Terror. This card's awesome. Uh, we have a... Cost one less for each instant sorcery card. Ward two. Alright. We got land. And we have Markov Purifier and Shadow Right Priest. So... Game two. And then gain two. I get the shred, unfortunately, but. I'm probably dead here, but. Let me say go. Uh, can't gain a life. We have, we have a lifelinker now, which is sweet. And we have the pilgrim to block the Talarian Terror with Death Touch. And obviously, if this thing just lives, we're going to get Tox Roll, which is awesome, so. Ancestral Anger number three. They should have cast that on the on the five five, right? What are they doing? Just give this thing trample, win the game. Twin Inferno for double strike. Uh, am I dead now? Six and twelve. That's fifteen. Come on. Who double strikes? It's all Optimus' fault. All Optimus' fault. All right. Uh, that stuck a little bit. I guess we if we blocked the thing earlier, I would I would have died at uh, I would have died at zero. So all right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's try that one again. Minister and some two drops. A little bit of an awkward hand here. Obviously, we're going to keep. We might just want to uh, play tap land on one. So we can go two drop into two drop, one drop. I think that's better. What's up, Yuri? Oh, I, I am stoked for BTM for, for, uh, for Dominator. I'm, I'm not going to finish the, uh, the Baldur's Gate run, unfortunately. Um, I've spent 20 hours uh, a week dealing with optimum for the last two weeks and i've just run out of time for it unfortunately and also now it's not relevant anymore because now video sets out so unfortunately we're going to can the uh the baldur's gate run and i'm not happy about it at all but it is what it is so pilgrim's great biggest change that comes from rotation creature lands leaving is huge uh definitely huge we're gonna play a merge keeper uh okay we should go priest minister here right What's up, Panda? Panda. Alright, it's so in, in for three. And then if they kill anything, we have missionary to get back with their blue green. They're not gonna kill anything, probably. Land of War Loam Speaker. So they are playing some rampy stuff. Even Infernal Grasps coming out of our coming out of our, our, our everything's. Um I guess we're just gonna play missionary as a two three and not try and uh get fancy with it. Let me just kill this. Attack for uh attack for seven. Play missionary. So I'm gonna cast this. 
Uh, they're obviously ramping. They have no rules, so they're they're a ten. We're just gonna try and kill them. Yeah, the no creature lands and no uh, no flip cards changes mana bases a lot. Where it used to be like you just had infinite things to do with your uh, your your lands. Now there are many many less. So uh, three six. This is ten. We could kill this in theory and maybe kill them, but I'm not gonna try and do that with uh, all this mana up. So let's stack. Coming in. They're in a block. We're going to pass priority. What do you got? Greater Tanuki. I have no idea what's going on right now. Just get a forest. Alright. Uh, is there some really scary six drop that you're going to play? There's no wraths in these colors, right? I guess we're going to play our bishop. If they wrath, I had the pilgrim play, so they would lose six. So, all right, I guess not a very exciting game. But whatever. Game. That's. Uh, we'll take the W. Not optimum circumstances. Next to the uh, next to the woes of optimum, but we can keep this. We've drawn our tox roll, which is annoying, but our hands are fine. Phoenix check. All right. Um. I mean, if I play caves to give us access to cut down, I guess we can still attack. Yeah, this is fine. Play caves, they go. Phoenix chick number two. All right. And a wrap. Okay, this is just like raging goblin tribal. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Do I kill this rabbit battery? I don't even. Uh, I don't even know. His name is John! Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Um, do we kill his rabbit battery? We have missionary. Probably just playing missionary next It's 2 3 lifelinker. Honestly, they have lightning, so I can kill it. I'm just gonna kill this. Kill this. Take one. And then next turn, we play, uh, play missionary as a lifelinker. We drew a voice to the blast. Yeah, we'll just play this. Want to get value off it if possible, but a two-thing life like you're just, like totally serviceable. So, eh. I think this card is not great. Not great. Three, three attacking creatures is a pretty large, uh, large ask. So they're gonna go. Jam reset. Thanks so much. I'm gonna go rabbit battery here. So I got to go voice the blessed and attack for some lifelink and grow my creature. I each cast his minister to so take the wall, whatever. Whoever said magic players don't get any chicks. Yeah, the ally fast lands are definitely coming back in the new Phyrexia set. Like no, no, no way they're not. And obviously they'll finish the pain lands in the next set. So Pioneer finally getting an Explorer, finally getting the full set of pain lands and fast lands, which is really important, honestly, because the missed balanced mana bases are really frustrating. Alright, so I mean Voice of the Blessed has only got one more turn until it's out of burn range. We have a life gain here, we have a two three life linker, we have a, we have a Lord in, in our hand also, so. Yeah, they always split the lands. It's really annoying. Uh, they just want to like spread the lands out over multiple sets, so you end up in spots where you just get like half the lands or a third of the lands or whatever. It's really annoying. But all right, so we draw Jaren, Corrupted Bishop, which is not ideal, honestly. I mean, we're gonna go. They definitely have our removal spell here. This is at sorcery speed, right? Yeah. Jaren costs. A life to make the bishop token. I guess we're gonna attempt to play Shadow Right Priest. Yeah. The question is, if I go, like, what are they gonna, what are they gonna strike here? I think they have Lightning Strike. Right. The tapping the pain lines has got to be a thing that this thing learns how to do. Let's play Shadow Priest and see what happens. And then that re that's resolved. So now they can't do four damage. They might just be dead here, actually. 
Pump this. Gain a life. Not much deals four. Oh, they're gonna play with fire. Sure, three, that's fine. But now, now I gain a life off the minister. This thing grows. Attack with these. Gain three life off this thing. And now we're at freaking 15 to their 11, and our stuff is really big. So. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lot of rap batteries. Uh, they're not winning the race here, though. So we got the corrupted bishop. This, is a hu this thing gives lifelink to humans, right? I guess we already have. Target human you control against lifelink. This is not... It doesn't actually matter, I guess, but... We're at 10. We gain a life. It is dead. No, not dead. It's close. It already has lifelink. Yeah, I guess we just like for 9, whatever. Now I think it's, it's Vigilance, too, so yeah. And then just scoot. Alright. That was a really, really fast set of games. Uh, but I guess we're just going to move on. I, I, I said I would do three games per, uh, per deck, so... I know it's not ideal, folks. I'm sorry, but uh, it's just timing-wise, this has not been a very fun, uh, not a very period. So, so uh, we went one, we went two one, and you know the it's kind of cool to have a deck where you're doing sort of like the voice of the blessed life gain thing, but you're doing other stuff too. Uh, and Shadow Rite Priest, it's funny because like usually they want to kill your lord anyway. Um, so, but if this thing ever lives, you get Toxic, which is really awesome. Having one Toxic in your deck isn't that isn't that isn't that toxic. Only one. If you draw it, then you can always cast it eventually. Uh, Lisa's is pretty cool. We had a few, few, few kill spells here. Um, deck seems sweet. We lost the Delver deck to draw any kill spells, which is obviously a reasonable thing because they were able to kind of just do their thing. But uh, deck was fun. Church of a Slug. We're going fast. Five, 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 ten new brews. That was pretty quick. But ten new brews. Like, comment, subscribe. Next deck's coming up. And I appreciate all. You're all, uh, you're all awesome. Thanks so much.